Hi, welcome to The Law Simplified. I'm Shaveen Bandar Naik. More often than not, the decision that is much more difficult to make, even more so than the actual one to take up a law degree, is to figure out how do I study for the subjects that you've taken up. Now, there are a number of questions that I get often asked on a daily basis uh, by students in my masterclass program or even those who approach me on this very YouTube channel uh, or even on the Udemy courses. Um, they range from how do I study, um, what subjects do I pick, um, what topics should I pick for that matter. But as a most common denominator, something that I've often noticed is when do I study? tends to come up frequently. And what I mean by this is um, students who have just begun their semester or maybe even working their way towards their examination tends to have this problem of when they should start. Now, the short answer to this is as soon as possible. But evidently, when you look at the subjects and when you look at the vast array of topics that are presented to you, based on the numerous universities and syllabuses that are out there, I decided to make a video to sort of clarify on what factors that you need to think about when you are starting your study and exactly how you need to optimize your timing and your academic strategy. The first step towards understanding when you should study and your strategy at large is to determine the anatomy of your syllabus. What do I mean by this? The anatomy of any given syllabus is essentially its personality. Now, by and large, any LLB or any law degree for that matter is comprised of either 9, 12, 16 or even 24 uh, subjects, depending on how extensive it is. You'll go through a number of subjects over three years or so and each and every one of these subjects has its own unique personality and because of that they have to be approached in a very specific manner. Now what I have coined or what I have suggested as the anatomy is to identify how exactly this particular subject is structured. Now for the purposes of clarity let's take one common example. Uh, let's take a subject that is essentially there in every single syllabus, criminal law. By and large, if you look at criminal law as a subject in terms of its structure, it's on the one hand mainly comprised of the fundamental principles and helping you understand um, the logic behind criminal law and how exactly it's set up. And then the latter portion is the actual application of those principles into the different offenses. So, for instance, if you check the playlist on criminal law on this channel itself, which I will link on the description below, as well as you'll be able to check out in the card uh, appearing on the top right hand of mine, um, you'll notice that it's essentially the introduction, which is the fundamental principles or the common elements of an offense, followed by the different offenses themselves, from homicide to non-fatal to theft and so on. Now, this anatomy would suggest to you that a bulk of your time is essentially going to be spent understanding the very principles of how criminal law works before you apply them to the offenses. Now this was one example just for criminal law. The same would go for uh, in terms of contract or property or trust and so on. But what's important is to identify at the very outset the very personality or the anatomy of the syllabus. Once you've identified the anatomy of the syllabus, essentially the personality and the various characteristics and how the topics are structured, how they expect you to go through the subject by and large, the next step is to determine the amount of time that you will have to allocate for this. Now, the determination of this is on a multitude of factors. Imagine, for instance, that you are taking up your examination in May and you have started your semester sometime in September or in October. This leaves uh, an avenue of about six to seven months for you to prepare, study and then sit for your examination. Now, having said that, you'll notice, let's take criminal law once again, that around 
30% of the subject is devoted towards understanding what criminal law is and how it operates. And the remaining 70%, which in fact is its bulk, is to determine how those principles that you learnt earlier apply to the given offences, homicide and so on. So it pays dividend to essentially be prepared with how the fundamentals of criminal law work in the first two to three months before beginning the new year, let's say in January, with the offences themselves, giving you sufficient time to understand the law and then simply apply the said law to the offences. Now, the nature of this subject, you, you'll notice that if you don't get the fundamentals right, the offences or understanding the offences take much more time. So your timing and the way that you structure your academic timetable has to account for that. And that's why that first step is very important, understanding the personality and the nature of the subject. Each individual subject that you will go through in your LLB or your law degree will have this different nuance that you'll have to tackle. For example, in your second or third year, you might encounter a subject such as property law or trust law. These subjects by and large are quite bulky in the sense that they might not be things, especially trust law, they might not be the type of subject matter that you will encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. Unlike, for example, contract law, which most students have encountered in some small way in their day-to-day -day lives. So it's, it's very easy to apply um, what they've seen in the real world to what they're learning as well. Okay, so that was a quick video um, just to outline and clarify uh, certain issues that I kept getting from students as well in relation to when should I start studying, how should I prepare for it, and what factors do I need to think of. Um, this, by and large, is going to be applicable to whichever subject that you are um, applying yourself to. Just remember those two steps. First, identify the anatomy of the syllabus. Figure out what exactly the subject entails and what it's requiring from you. And then secondly, work backwards by essentially timing yourself, your syllabus, um, in line with your semester and figuring out what sort of time frame you need to allocate uh, in order to properly go through each topic. Um, I've said this a multitude of times before as well. A law degree demands your respect in terms of time. It's not something that is well suited for last minute preparation. It always uh, pays dividend to start early, prepare well, so that towards the end you'll feel confident when you sit for your examination. Right, having said that, until the next time that we meet, have fun, stay safe, and obey the law.